It doesn't really matter what type of magnets we use for this test. Here I have two ceramic ferrite magnets. Uh, of course north is going to be attracted to the south and vice versa. So clearly that's a north pushing a north, a repelling action. And the south is being attracted to our north side of the uh, unknown magnet. So now we've found the north side of our magnet. We can just pop a label on there. And then we can retest. Here we have a normal compass at rest and north is pointing towards the top of our screen. If we bring in our known magnet close to the compass you'll see it, it's starting to, to move around and uh, we've brought in the north end which should be attracted to the south pointer on the compass which indeed it is. If we switch our bar magnet around and bring in the south pole, the south should be attracted to the north point of the compass. So the opposites attract even on a compass. So we have now confirmed that our known bar magnet with the uh, south and north indicators at each end is indeed correct. It has been labelled correctly. The south end has been labelled correctly and the north end has been labelled correctly. So now we know a compass acts like a, a magnet itself. Let's bring in our unknown magnet. Whoops, it's a bit strong. But you can see that the uh, south point of the compass is facing our magnet, so that magnet face must be north. If we f flip it around, we'll see that the other end of the magnet, the other side of the magnet, is south. Of course, it's attracting the north point of the compass. There we go, back again. So clearly that's the north side of the magnet. So let's put a label on it. Okay, now we have a label. Let's retest to be sure. Okay, the north is attracting the south point of the compass. If we swing the magnet around to reverse it, okay, the south side is, and labeled side is attracting the north point of the compass, and back again. 
and then moth side re-attracting the cell. So we've uh, correctly labeled our uh, unknown magnet.